today my presentation topic is on collaborative team learning, which I have taken uh, the content, presentation content from the article, Collaborative Team Learning in Information Systems, a pedagogy for development of team, uh, for team skills and high performance, which was written by Mr. Nicol and Derek. Uh, that article has been published in the Journal of Computer Information Systems and and I may use, as we know, different individuals that have different states, different patterns. So I may use my traditional lecture method, Blackboard, and effective tools like PPT and other visuals if that permits. So what do you understand with this term? Collaborative learning. Together, learning something together, at least more. Can you tell what are the major elements which enhance different, I mean to flourish the team? Team skills, otherwise? Any idea? I'm, I'm asking about the elements. The major elements which can dynamics. dynamics, trust, trust. Any other? Quickly. Okay. Oh. I list out some of the elements. First thing is information, competence. Any other? Language, reaction, last but not least, very important, participation, interaction, interaction. coordination, involvement, it's all these terms. I give feedback and individual how it receives and responds. Okay. These elements make develop team skills. Is it? That leads to the team performance. But I have written the title team learning, collaborative learning. But why this lady is talking about team skills and team performance? Where is the team then? Then what is the team? A group of people, very good. A group of people with different skills and different tasks work together on a common goal. Or service or process. Okay. So quickly we will look into our Uh, actually, the, uh, when the authors they have developed this article, they can know that some of the IT organizations they have cited that IT professionals they lack some of the inter, uh, interpersonal and team skills. Then how can they develop those skills? So generally, how we can learn? How we can develop skills? The peer interactions, group interactions, which can and have some cognitive development or the knowledge, uh, sharing experiences, which enables to learn more like that, right? So, individual skills and IT professionals have been linked to the success of IT department and subsequently to sustainable competitive advantage and overall for performance. Then, how these skills to be done? Propose and collaborate. There, the others they have proposed this collaborative team learning process. That is a pedagogy. A pedagogy, all of you know that it is an art or a technique of teaching. And that can be employed to concomitantly develop core technical knowledge and the team skills. So, in this learning process, they have classified two major concepts. One is objectivist. Objectivist learning theory 
and the other one is constructivist learning theory. Objectivist learning theory is the one which it exposes the notion that where the knowledge exists as an objective reality. So the main goal of objectivist learning theory is to create learning environment where the instructor is going to develop and transmit the knowledge effectively and efficiently. There the instructor is stage on stage, stage on, stage on the stage who imparting knowledge to the learners or the students. Okay. When I was coming to the constructivist learning theory, where they used to, the main goal of constructivist learning theory is to create learner-centered environment, where the learner, they have to develop or construct on their own. They have to discover the knowledge on their own through the interactions or with their environment. Okay, so collaborative learning is one of the variant constructivism where I said we can use different methods like case studies, group projects, there are debates, simulations, group problem solving activities and team based learning activities. So collaborative learning situation, this is a photograph I have taken now in my PPT slide where we interacted together and we have developed certain answers. <laughs> so, I would like to conclude uh, my presentation with a beautiful quotation by Helen Keller, who is American now, uh, who is the American author. Uh, Alone we can do so little, together we can do so much. Thank you.